I wasn't the last guy in. <laughs> Craig went out. Craig had to grow. That's true. I mean, come on. Right? <laughs> right? That's true. All right, we got a couple of viewers here this morning. We're going to be live. And what do we got, Andy, for time? 35 seconds. 35 whole seconds. Good morning, Facebook Live. Good morning, YouTube Live. If you like YouTube Live, you can watch it at uh, youtube.com slash go St. George TV. So that's what I've been doing. It's actually going to the YouTube and watching. Thanks, Joe Newman. Where you've got it made of Stephen Wade. 24 hundred to its 36 months lease, 12,000 miles per year, plus tax, time, and license, and first month's payment. The exclusive home of the bench. KDX2 News Time, it's 8.35, Andy Griffin with you live, and it's time for the St. George Real Estate Morning Drive with Jeremy Larkin. Holy smoke, that's loud in my ears. The volume. So, somebody had the volume on your headset. The, the, the volume <laughs> works. Good morning. It's incredibly good morning. Good morning. It is a good morning. I'm going to tell you why everybody wants to live in St. George and why nobody can stop complaining about it momentarily. You guys ready for this topic today? Looking forward to that, yes. Let me tell you about my morning. This is St. George, okay? So here's why people, Jeremy Larkin here, host of the St. George Real Estate Morning Drive. We've got Jesse Paul with me in studio, McKinnon. Yeah, you got family giving you a life. Yeah, I got a loving family. They, they're always liking me and loving I, me. I know they do. I know, it's cool, man. It's awesome, okay? Good morning, Alex, McKinnon, <clears throat> Joe, 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 the man, Newman. Like this guy. Joe's doing some fun things with this little real estate brokerage. So here's here's the beauty of St. George. So uh, Jesse knows this. I spent the morning with about 50-something Dixie Middle and High School kids mountain biking. Really? I spent yesterday morning with 50-something Dixie High School Middle School kids mountain biking, and I spent Monday evening with them. And between now and October, I'm going to spend three days a week. I did about, I've done about six and a half hours on the bicycle. Well pedaling probably longer with stops so <clears throat> i was with those kids we rounded up at 6 15 a.m at the end of navajo uh, drive in bloomington where you head out into the desert and uh it was a dixie hot dixie flyers team rounded up had a little five minute uh, hoorah and uh, hey and welcome everybody broke off into six groups there's six individual kind of riding groups because they can't have 50 something kids riding together roll all over uh, myself and two other uh, men this morning and two other coaches with me. Typically it's two coaches. We took eight kids out. Two of those kids were my kids. Rode all over the desert. If you guys haven't seen my Facebook feed, it's unbelievable. I mean, I I'm going to post the photos today of the three days this week. It's literally like mind-boggling yeah. where I've been for three days. This is just in St. George. I rode off at the end ahead. Jesse called me on my headset. We had a 10-minute discussion about business on my way to the car. Got in my car. That was 7:50 a.m. 7:50 a.m. I went home. I made myself my favorite shake. I had a shower. My boys walked in the house because they got dropped off by the other coach because I left early. Said, "Hey, hi, bye. Here's your chores." Drove to the radio station and I'm on the air. There you go. Why do people want to live here? Do you guys get it? That very reason. You like? Do you get it? But I'm not a mountain biker. I, but that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, really. That doesn't matter. I mean, guys, I did all of that just now, like just now. We rode for an hour. My ride was an hour and six minutes of riding time, with probably fifteen minutes of stops with the kids, making some adjustments. 
That's our morning, right? right. How long does it take us to get to our office after this? Five, four minutes? Four minutes four my, minutes? Uh, from my house, one minute. Okay, yeah. but you live clear out in Hurricane Jesse. I do, but let's talk about that. Because every minutes. day when I go home, it's like 15 I'm minutes. in heaven. Come off the free, freeway right there, and I up top that hurricane hill, and it's just like heaven opens up to me. It's the most it's incredible, incredible drive home every day. It's incredible. You know, I go out to where Andy lives. Mm -hmm. He's out washing fields. It's incredible. The views are amazing. There's sand dunes in the distance and cliffs mm -hmm. of 19 different shades and variety. The sunrise this morning was crazy. Yep. Right? But what about our traffic? But guys, have you seen this traffic? And by the way, I did get frustrated on River Road, you know, the other day, didn't I? Oh, I got so frustrated. That, by the way, 1130 to 1230, it's what I call the death zone. Big deal. So big it, deal. It, what's right? funny is it, it might cost you five minutes. It on, cost on me a five, bad day. It cost me five minutes. So on a bad day. Let's put this into perspective. You can you can move somewhere else, let's say a bigger city, Las Vegas, Salt Lake. I was in Portland for a year and Everywhere I went was 45 minutes. Correct. Everywhere I went, every day 45, was traffic. 45 minutes. We have a friend that just moved to Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's commuting about an hour and a half. Yep. Each way. Each way. Sure. An hour and 20? Yep. Kayla, you out there? I don't know. She, it's her friend. Um, an hour, I mean, an hour 20, an hour 30? Each way. Now, right. now, guys, but I've only, really only begun. Now, Okay, here's the situation. Why, why am I ranting and raving? Why, why am I ranting and raving? Okay, Because you like to. I love to rant and rave. Good really morning to our listeners. Rose, good morning, Rose. She's living in Ivan's now. Here's the situation, okay? This sounds like the start of the uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. My parents went away for a week, two weeks vacation. Situation is as follows. St. George Airport has a problem, okay? And Andy, you know what the problem is because you're in the news, right? What, what's the problem? Well, basically, the runway turned into a bumpity bump, a, a mogul, because mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. different types of clay expanded and contracted yeah. out there, and so they're having to redo it. Yeah, so so what's happened is St. George Airport is shut down mm -hmm. for four months. Mm -hmm. And I saw in living color, by the way, that it was shut down, because yesterday, out on our mountain bike ride, clear out there by the airport, clear out there, according to, by the way, all of the complainers on Facebook, okay? Facebook is literally the world premier, the premier complaining zone. It's incredible the voice it's given to you. Clear out there, we were out on our mountain bikes yesterday morning, and I and we were uh, above the airport on what's called Secret Sauce. Is that a fun uh, trail name? That's a fun name. Yeah, it's a fun name. And I looked down, and I saw all the excavating trucks coming and going. So we've got what can we call blue clay? Jesse, what does it? What does blue clay do? What What does blue it clay do? Expands and it contracts with yeah. moisture. With moisture. Okay. So so, we all love clay until we start playing with it in water. Yeah, so we have a little problem. There's some blue clay here in Washington County, and uh, FAA builds this airport. They go, they do this comprehensive study, like years and years and years, and then after that, some more years, and they decide that the very best location for an airport in Washington County is out there. Yep. Okay. And we used to be up here on the hill, just down, because we're up on Bluff Street right now. And they couldn't, they couldn't bring these big jets in and flying out of that hill anymore. And it was our downtown. So they so they put it out there. The airport's beautiful. It is a massive 15 minutes to drive out there, by the way, from my house. It is a massive, just it's an unbelievable 15 minutes. And then I actually have to show up like 33 minutes ahead of my flight to fly out. Can you believe these guys? That's terrible. That's, that's ridiculous. Versus, oh, <laughs> driving 90 minutes, if you're lucky, to the Vegas airport, parking your car, paying $18 a day for traffic parking, or maybe it's 16 Pardon my emotion. Um, Walking through that godforsaken, if you will, airport, right? That's a casino that's mm -hmm. designed so you don't even know how to get out of that place. Going through that pain and suffering and hell, flying out and then coming back and then driving home at like two in the morning. Okay, mm -hmm. so the blue clay settles. I mean, guys, you can see I'm setting this up, aren't I? Yeah. The blue clay settles. The airport has problems, and so the commentary that's erupted on the Facebook. Uh, I heard it described by someone as pathetic. This is pathetic. Okay, so here's the situation, guys. We live in the most beautiful place in the world. If you go to a Facebook post by, say, St. George News, they're really big on these articles, okay? And you read, this is fun. I'm going to give everyone a, a little, we're a real estate program if anyone had no idea what we're talking about today. Mm -hmm. 
You want to have some fun, Jesse? I want you to go click on the profile of every complainer on Facebook. You will find that about 98% of them, do you think they're from here or do you think they're transplants? Probably transplants. Yeah. And guess what their hang-up is on St. George? Guess what their hang-up is that we decided to rebrand our, our St. George Conver Convention Bureau to the Greater Zion Bureau? Guess what the hang-up is? That they don't want what to happen in. They don't want people coming in. Yeah. Even though they just came in. I don't want anybody moving into this community. Okay, I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of the traffic. I'm sick and... Listen, it's like L.A. out there, somebody said in one of these Facebook comments. That's this is like living in Compton. In Compton? Oh, I've seen it all, dude. Oh, my God. How the mayor... How Mayor Pike literally I wonder if is not okay, how he's not in a psychiatric ward right now <laughs> yeah. with his job. I don't have any idea. He's he's got to have some thick skin because I. Well, and he goes into I Facebook. Yeah, he goes into Facebook and, and he talks about it. Jesse, can you believe the complaining that people have? So what? The airport shut down for four months. Well, this is this is despicable. Can you believe these guys? This is the best one I saw. I smell a lawsuit coming. Someone said. What's the lawsuit about? You're going to sue someone because you can't fly out of St. George for four months? Cry me a river, guys. Do you know what we can do now, Andy? We can get a giant flying metal tube. Yeah. And if I fly southwest typically with 120 people and all of their luggage, and they pick it up, and five hours later I'm in Atlanta. Yeah. Phenomenal. And they fly out. Okay? And that's even, I mean, so, so seven hours if you have to go to Vegas. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I, I visited the Mountain Meadows um, Massacre location on Memorial Day, mm -hmm. on the weekend of Memorial Day, we stopped by there. And I just thought about what, it, I mean, it's a huge tragedy, obviously. And I thought about, like, what's the price tag for what it was like to live in the 18, 1800s? You know, like, with a wagon and a horse and your feet traveling across the country. Joe commented here, everything is close to St. George. Vegas is two hours, Lake Powell, Huntington Beach is six hours. Beautiful. It's actually a great point, right? Yeah. So why does everyone want to live here? They want to live here, people, for the reason, would you, are you guys ready for the answer? The we all want to live here. Bingo. It's beautiful. There's so much to do. It's got mild <coughs> winters. It's got, uh -huh. spot, what, five national parks within three hours? Yeah, it's nuts. National parks, state parks, like national three. forests. Reservoirs all over the place. We're 90 minutes to Vegas, and by the way, being 90 minutes to Vegas is actually awesome. Is. Like, how awesome is that? Okay, mm -hmm. we have no inversion, we have no air quality problems, we have no real traffic problems, as you said. Right? It's not We're talking about a five to ten minute delay on your worst day. So, okay? so I drive 30 minutes every day to come to work. Mm -hmm. Three, maybe three times a year, I'll hit a traffic jam, and it'll take me 45 minutes to get home because somebody got in an accident. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even in the construction, it doesn't take me very long to get home. Yeah, this is crazy. And, it, and if I lived in, when I was in Vegas going to college, every day I'd hit traffic going to work. Every day. If you Listen, every day. It's, it's unavoidable. If you're a Facebook Live listener, why do you live in St. George? I, seriously, I want you to comment. If somebody is watching Facebook Live, you're like a bunch of voyeurs, you weirdos. You know, you know how everybody wants to watch, but they don't want to comment. I want you to comment. You know, I saw something interesting last night, um, just just so sadly so <laughs> interesting last night. So the Summit Athletic Club is putting on this uh, this Summit Rock. Mm -hmm. okay, right? Every year, yep. So they're going to give out 10 grand as the big prize, and then they're going to give out a whole bunch of like little $500 prizes. What do you think people are doing about that? What do you think the main commentary on Facebook is? Do you think it's applause or complaint? Oh, it's complaint. It's they have way too much money. It's I can't believe they have so much it's money. Well, give well, and we don't like the rules. Yes. And we don't think this is fair. Oh, my gosh. And so, so, so Jesse, you talked about this morning when we visited on the phone. What is the problem? We have a lack of people taking one. Taking accountability. Yeah. yeah. And, and looking at my part. My, yeah. biggest, my biggest problem with stuff like this is we're always looking for, and my wife gets on me, because I'm the same way. Who's to blame? Whose fault is it? Yes, this, this sure. airport runway, somebody somebody knew. They, this is the best comment. They knew what was going on when this started. They might, but yeah, let's, let's kind of go there. Because yeah. with yeah. blue clay, you can do all the preparations in the world, and it's still unpredictable. Bingo. 
Yeah, you, you, it, it's just, it is what it is, it's, it's crazy. I can drive down the road and other drivers are still unpredictable. Mm -hmm. They can make a mistake, I can make a mistake. Yeah. It's nobody's fault, it's life. We just live, we just live in oh, it, like the greatest place on the planet and we live in a place that's full of human beings. Why do you live in St. George, guys? If you're watching this Facebook Live, comment, what, Andy, why do you wanna live here? Why'd you move here from where? I remember you talking about this. Yeah, well, originally I moved to St. George as a stopping point in my career, and after a year or so down here, I'm like, I think I want to stay here because this place is so amazing. Mm -hmm. And that was 26 years ago. Yeah. yeah, if we slow down enough to really see what it has to offer, it offers peace, mm -hmm. serenity, if we can stop and enjoy it. That's yeah, why we can I stop and enjoy it. Here. Any, any, right, right? Anywhere. You know, um, so there's this Iron Man event they put on, right? You guys have probably heard of this little race. We get complaints about that. Well, you know, the Convention Bureau, they just want to pad their pockets. Well, yeah. That's exactly what, they're that's business. exactly what, they're we, that's exactly what our community wants to do. We, we, do, we want to bring people here. We, we want to promote tourism. By the way, in case anyone was not aware, we are a tourist town. <laughs> that is our main bread and butter, tourism. Mm -hmm. So here's what I want, though. I need more manufacturing facilities. That's okay. Okay, you can look like the west side of Salt Lake. Mm -hmm. Is that what we want? Yeah, no. You guys want smokestacks? No. Do you want to be a blue-collar town now? Is that? Because last I checked, there's like bike trails, and I'm looking out the window on Bluff Street at this downtown that's covered in green with red rocks behind it. Mm -hmm. Jessica, Jessica says it's a perfect combo of a small-town community with the amenities of a bigger town. And don't get me started on the weather. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Rose. The view and the warmth, uh, McKinnon at Southern Utah, you know, access to outdoors and family. Yeah, again, guys, this is not in my backyard, which is the, one of the oldest concepts in the book. It is so real. Um, but we have a massive, and this is hard because if you're a transplant, you may think that I just threw you into the bus. Oh, no, if you're a complaining transplant, I absolutely did. Mm -hmm. I'm actually talking to you, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, if you're a grateful transplant, I'm really grateful you came. By the way, thank you for feeding my family, mm -hmm. for adding to my tax base, for making the community what it is. Thank you. Keep doing it. Keep 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 going for it. So, guys, we're a real estate program, and sometimes we, you know, I'm Jeremy Larkin. I'm the host of the St. George Real Estate Morning Drive. You know, we live and die on on growth, yeah. right? And we do not support over at the Larkin Group in any way, shape, or form unhealthy growth, unfettered growth. Um, we call it uncontrolled growth, and I said you can't control growth, but managed growth is probably the best word. We don't think that everybody should just be given a building permit so they can do whatever the heck they want. And we went through some of that, and they're speaking of blue clay. Remember in the 90s, Jesse, some of those places off of Tonic went in that. We had a lot of subdivisions go in that had blue clay problems, and then they came back later and said, whoops, right? Mm -hmm. Because the pandemonium, the pandemonium of, of that, right, like just got way out of hand. Okay. We're a real estate program. Let me tell you what's selling right now in Washington County. Jesse, should we transition? Let's do it. Have I, guys, have I ranted and raved enough? Do, do you catch, we all, Jeff, <laughs> I love this, Jeff Jensen over at the Lard Group says you can golf and ski in the same day in Southern Utah. It's true. Guys, Within I cannot hour. tell you how many times I skied and biked same day. Many Many times in St. George, I've done that. Just a couple years ago, you were doing it in May. Was it May? Well, yeah, you, you ski. I, I can go in and ski right now. By the way, Brian Head Ski Resort is it's literally covered as though it's winter. I mean, it's closed because they close in April because people stop going and the Forest Service lease basically forces them to. It is as though it were winter. But I've skied and biked in the same day. Uh, you can ski bike golf in the same day. Uh, there's just so much. So, so let's talk about this for just a minute. We we. People are moving here, and because they're moving here, real estate's selling. I'm just having some fun here. We have, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna list for you, because people say, what's selling? What are things selling for? A building lot in Enterprise, by the way, it's clear out there in the middle of nowhere. It's, uh, it's, it's massive. It's like big acreage. Could you guys, I want you to think about this. Could you imagine that you could purchase 10 acres for $29,831? Between Enterprise and Burl? $280,000 home in Coral Canyon. Congratulations to Richard Davidson. Just close, just close that one for Richard. $484,996 for the Wanless family in Sunbrook. Going to sell that one. 
How about three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars for a dunes in San Hollow, a little like a vacation rental retreat? The Holly family, the Aromies. This is fun. We're going to close today at noon. Help these people sell their incredible home in Ivan's twenty-three hundred square foot home with a pool. Three hundred eighty-nine seven seven seven. That was loud. Uh, how about We're Jesse? Turn your headset down. A little. My gosh, I got, I'm getting all of his notifications on his computer. Uh, the this is fun. Uh, Jesse, how about our 1300 North Circle home? Kind of neat. Off of, uh, uh, off of uh, Dixie Red Hills Golf Course. 2700 square foot home. It's closed for 325. We got the Nouveau property, Johnson, over in uh, Sunbrook, selling around 300,000 bucks. Jesse, you've got the Ladows at, th thir at 500,000 bucks. They're closing today. Closing today in Mulberry Estates. The Welker family, 438,000 bucks in Morningside Estates. Our incredible fun client, Jeannie. That's becoming such a good friend. Eight hundred thousand bucks. We talked about this in the show last week. If you'd like to know, and I bet you would, how we sold the most expensive home in the history of Dixie Springs, and with four offers, and for twelve thousand dollars more than the asking price, eight hundred thousand bucks. We'd love to tell you about that. We're happy to visit about that off air, and we'll give you some contact information for the Larkin Group. Apple Valley, and you're still working on that one, aren't you, Jesse? I am. Ironwood, 2335. Downtown Washington, 239,000 bucks. We got another Ironwood. We got a townhome right off of, of uh, 7th South Sunrise Village. People drive by these every day. They're white brick, built in the 19th, late 70s. 244,000 bucks. This is like, these are homes that we're literally like, we don't have them for sale. So, Jesse, why, what happens to people? And what's our time, Andy? Four minutes. What happens, Jesse? Like, these are homes that actually have contracts on them. And I stopped. I didn't list all of them. Um, so if you wonder if we're actually selling real estate more than being talking heads, this is what we do for a living. We get to be talking heads on the side. It's kind of a fringe benefit. What happens when people look at homes that are for sale to try and price their home? They say, hey, but I, Jeremy, I saw my neighbor's house is for sale for 500 well, the problem with that is you don't know all the details. Like, how long has it been on the market? The, well, the biggest problem is it's still for sale. It's an unsold. Right. So it's they haven't got a contract yet. So to price like they are, although they're your competition, you got to you still use that data, but you need more. You've got to figure out what homes are actually selling mm -hmm. or at a value that buyers are making offers. Correct. So, and I've, I've had a conversation a couple years ago the guy actually hung up on me because I asked him I said oh, oh we've been hung up on because I, I challenged and I wasn't even trying to challenge him but I was asking him are you sure about that price because the home across the street isn't sold yet oh you're just trying to give homes away and he hung up on me mm -hmm. his home is still for sale two years later two years yes <laughs> and he's now Ouch. from 1.2 million was what he, and I wasn't even trying to say he was wrong I was just saying, hey, there's there's a little bit more to that. Mm -hmm. He's now down to nine hundred and fifty thousand, still on the market. And who knows how long this goes? Yeah, who knows? The, the but that can happen in any price range too. Because, you know, your neighbor puts their home on the market, and you look at it and you say, well, you know, so we're visiting with a client this week. Got a really cool home off of River Road with uh, yeah. well, an acre of land. And they said, well, one of our neighbors is selling a lot for two hundred thirty-five thousand dollars a building lot. I said, well, that's nice. I bet that building lot's been for sale for 500 days. Right. So that building lot is actually not a litmus test, right, of uh, what their home should be valued at. So mm -hmm. what we do when we look at what home should be valued at is we do look at what the competition is asking. You have to. Right? Because that's looking ahead down the road as yeah. we drive. And then we also take cues from looking in the rearview mirror to see what homes sold for. Yep. Right, so with driving, it's 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 interesting because when you're driving your car, you're really not looking in the rearview mirror other than the, I don't know, make sure you're not getting chased by a cop. I'm saying when you're driving down the road, right? I don't have those problems these days. Yeah, I get I don't that. get chased by cops. Bingo, I get accused of, and uh, like it's not an accusation. For some reason, I I'm always like glancing at myself in the mirror. Right? It's, it's the the most comical thing. It's so funny. It's so funny. I'm not sure what I'm doing there. I'm like, man, I'm getting One old. Minute. So. Folks, thinking about selling your home. We live in the most beautiful place on the planet. Okay, people are going to come and people are going to go. If you want to have that conversation, we talked about what we did at Dixie Springs. Talking about 
how we accurately, accurately price a home, accurately prepare a home for sale, and strategically market it. Visit us at soldinsaintgeorge.com. That is soldinsaintgeorge.com, very easy. Or just Google the Larkin Group. You'll find us, right? Uh, we'd love to visit. I mean, we, we, we'd love to visit with people because the, at the end of the day, you need good information. And if the information is nothing more than, look at, wow, this is just not going to work. Right? I visited with Jeremy, I visited with Jesse, someone on the team. What I want to do just isn't possible. Then that's okay, right? So again, thank you, and thanks for, for Rush. Thanks for being on Ben's Forum. So thank you, Jesse. Always great to be here. I don't yeah. want to hear you complaining about I, the airport. I loved your rant. It was awesome. You thank you. We're 116 days or 18 days according to their schedule. Visit us at soldinsaintgeorge.com. Jeremy Larkin with the Larkin Group thanking you for living in this community. Just don't be a complainer. All right, over now. There we go.